Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today, I'd like to welcome my friend, the godfather, the king of CCAS, the one, the only, Ray Hicken, the VP of Strategy and Business Development for NICE CX1, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Ray has built his career as an experienced vice president in sales while demonstrating a history of working in the telecommunications industry. He has experience both in the indirect master agency world as well as on the provider side. Honestly, I don't think there's a more respected or trusted executive in this industry. The Daniel Boone of CCAS. Ray, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Steve, thank you for that introduction. It's more than I'm worth, but thank you. It's great to be here with you again. I am also the founding member of the Ray Hicken Fan Club, but <laughs> let's move on. Yes. Uh, well, hey, Ray, uh, last week we had your CEO, Paul Jarman, on the show. He was an amazing interview, such an incredible leader and visionary. This week, I'd like to talk to you about where we are in terms of CCAS or client experience in the adoption. CCAS isn't just for the 500 sales agent inbound and outbound enterprise business sitting next to each other in St. Louis and cubicles. What does today's UCAS or CCAS customer look like? Well, it's it's very different than, yeah, than what you described. And even that transition has happened dramatically since COVID began, the rapid move from agents being at home, I mean, being in the office place, uh, in a work environment, on a premise-based solution to taking everybody to home. And, and people now begin to find like they can work from home uh, for the rest of their careers and not go back to an office. So it changes the platform they're using. And many of the customers now, because of these changes, are using different uh, types of platforms to communicate with their customer base, which means we have to provide tools to be able to do that. Uh, using applications like WhatsApp and Messenger and having a, like 30 different channels to communicate all within a platform with a, with a customer is changing the way the customer has an experience. And so it's really, it's pretty exciting. And uh, we're seeing all kinds of new changes happen almost uh, on a, a monthly basis in the platforms. Yeah, for sure. You know, I don't think there's anybody that I know that understands the CCAS technologies as well as you do. Uh, NICE CX1 has been the undisputed leader in the, in the CCAS field. So why is that? What makes NICE CX1 so unique? Well, I think we, we, we were a pioneer, first of all. We were the first to the cloud. Um, no one else was in the cloud. And that gives you an advantage as long as you can stay ahead of the, the curve and, and stay up on technology and innovation. And we've been able to do that. And with the acquisition of us by NICE uh, uh, several years back, it's given us the ability to have access to even a bigger client base and a bigger database of clients, as well as the ability to add more and enrich platforms and take things that we brought over from the NICE platform and move it to the cloud with our WFAM WX uh, platform. And then also to be able to acquire new products and new companies that are digital based and are taking our customers to places as I described earlier, where they've never been. And it's allowed us to be able to put a platform out there that's highly competitive and also very cutting edge. And when you talk about a digital world and the digital experience, there were going places that I know that some of our competitors are not even there yet. And I think it's just really the investment of money, the commitment to the industry, and the longevity of how we've been able to work in this, this arena for so many years as a leader. Yeah, drop the mic, man. That was well said, that was well said. You know, I was just thinking while you were saying that in Las Vegas, the channel partners, you were telling me that you guys are increasing your commitment to the indirect sales channel. Why don't you elaborate on that real quick? Yeah, we feel it's really important that uh, we know, let our partners know and, and, uh, and all those people that we work with so closely in the indirect channel that they're important to us. So we are gonna be adding uh, more field-based, regional-based partner managers than we've ever had before. And we're also gonna be able uh, to put more resources around that, more, more on the platform. We, we're, we're gonna allow them to be able to sell more pieces of the platform and, and be able to see the compensation for that than any of our competitors. And we're also being, being added, added again, more, more product, more digital products around that. And, and then on top of that, um, we're giving them paths, different paths where they can be really successful with us 
um, and, and make, the, make the financial success for themselves um, in ways that we've not done before. We're very much invested in the growth of this. And I think you're gonna see a very different, nice CX-1 moving forward, especially in the indirect channel. Very nice, very nice. It's gonna be a good year in 2022. Now there's thousands of sales partners watching this right now. What can you say to, to take the scales off their eyes, to open their eyes, to see new CCAS opportunities that they're likely walking by each and every day? Well, I think, you know, one of the things that uh, our partners sometimes miss is, is that that customer experience, although critical to a company's growth, sometimes gets overlooked because maybe our partners are spending time more with the IT department and not with operational or, cu or customer service or, or groups of people who are interfacing with the customer in a very di different and unique way. And so I think we, we want our, our partners out there to realize that there are, there are different angles to get at for opportunities in the contact center space. And you have to uncover those by, by you know, reaching into the, the, the customer base that you're, you're working at and ask those questions to ask them, what are they using? What kind of current platforms are they using to take care of their customer experience? Uh, how are they interacting with their customer? And, and what is that experience like? Are they leveraging multiple technologies to be able to take care of their customers? And would they like, would they like to unify that under one platform to give them a very full and complete experience? So we want them to look beyond just where they've been and go to places they've never touched before. And, and again, that's getting into places where they typically don't spend time, which is getting into operations, getting into customer service, getting the sales and marketing and uh, operational leaders in, in the company to find out what, what they're going, where they're going and what they're gonna be doing for their customers in, moving forward. As again, they said, the digital experience is really changing this. And we're, 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 we're talking with customers in ways we've never talked before. And for them to understand that will make a big difference in their ability to not only have success, but to find unrealized business and opportunities that they haven't touched before. Yeah, I love it, great answer. Well, hey, Ray, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show. You have one of my mugs and, and you know there are millions and millions of people and millions more because it's you watching <laughs> this show right now. Why don't you tell the viewers a fun little known fact about yourself? Well, one thing that I love is early U.S. history. I'm fascinated by um, the, the, the movement of, the, of those from, um, from England and to, from Europe to the U.S. on an unknown chartered trip, but they were looking for a new way of life and a new world. And the, the fascinating thing is the people, the leadership and the type of things that they worked through as they led a country into a new world that they'd never been before and really not knowing where that path was gonna take them, but knowing that they had a vision and, and, and a foundation to, uh, to the things that would make this, this country a great place. And even today, we look back at those founding fathers and leaders who really established what we are as a country today and still uh, the values and, and, and principles that drive a lot of what we do today. And, I just love that. I, I love U.S. history and I love studying history because I, I think you can take what you learn from the past and go to the future uh, from those experiences in, in your own life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure to see you on the Top Gun show again, Ray. Thanks for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And I appreciate all that you do and your partnership with us as well. All right. And thanks for watching, everybody.